everybody, Mark here from 8-Minute Axe. In this video, I'm gonna share a few simple yet highly effective tips on how to unlock the full potential and magic of the 12-string, including how and what to practice, proper technique, tuning, and how playing a 12-string can profoundly improve your six-string playing as well. Sadly, most 12-string guitars are used exclusively to play cowboy chords. I think it's because too many players don't understand how to properly approach the instrument, and don't recognize what it does best. Now there's a reason that it was used extensively by the Beatles, the Stones, Tom Petty, the Birds, and of course Led Zeppelin, just to name a few. And the fact that if you look at any list of the top 100 rock songs of all time, it's remarkable how many of them employed a 12 string. Stairway to Heaven, Hotel California, All Along the Watchtower, More Than a Feeling, Wish You Were Here, the list is long. There must be something to it, right? These tips will make playing the 12 string easier, more enjoyable, and make you a better all-around player. Let's start with a tip that's the easiest to implement and will probably have the most dramatic effect. Tip number one is use a thin pick. One of the hardest things to do when playing the 12 string is to play all 12 strings. Getting an even strike on the string sets is crucial to bringing the 12 string to life. If you're constantly missing one of the strings when you pick or even when you strum, you might as well just play a six string. It's kind of what you're doing anyway. And if you're having this problem, the best and easiest way to fix it is to use a thin pick. The flexibility of a thin pick is ideal for following through, and I promise you'll immediately hear the difference. Tip number two, learn classic 12 string riffs. There are tons to choose from and many are easy to play. Here are a couple of my favorite classic 12 string riffs. You should not only learn these riffs, but you should learn from them as well. There's one thing that most of the famous 12 string riffs have in common, the third, fourth, and fifth strings. And that brings me to tip number three. Target the octave strings, especially three, four, and five. These are the money strings. Instead of strumming open chords, arpeggiate them. Tip number four, experiment with alternate and open tunings. My personal favorites are open C, open G, and drop D. If you're not that courageous, just tune the guitar down a half step. You'll be surprised at how much the character of the sound changes. 
Tuning down also alleviates neck tension, making the guitar easier to play and potentially extending its life. I have my other Taylor tuned down and through the magic of video, see if we can do this. Number five, practice. Now this may seem obvious, but if you treat the 12 string like a unique instrument that demands learning certain skills, you're gonna sound much better and get way more out of it than if you pick it up with the attitude that it's just like a six string. The 12 string requires stronger hands, more precise fretting, and more accurate and consistent picking. Most of us start off learning great technique until we've reached enough proficiency to be lazy. Just go back to basics. There shouldn't be any buzzing or choked out notes. A good way to check your chord accuracy is to fret the chord and then play each string set, making sure they all ring true. You wanna have good hand position with your wrist down. I know I'm stating the obvious, but you do have to be more precise here because you're fretting two notes with each finger. So just practice switching between the chords one string set at a time. If you've made it this far in the video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. A small gesture on your part makes a big difference on my end, and I sincerely appreciate it. Tip number six, set yourself up for success. I mean this literally. Having your 12 strings set up properly is a must. This includes proper neck relief, action, and intonation. I recommend getting a professional for a 12 string setup. If hiring a pro isn't an option, make sure you educate yourself on what to do before jumping into it. I used to have a bad habit of the ready, fire, aim method. It's time for everybody's favorite tip. Tip number seven is tuning. Tuning a 12 string can be accomplished quickly and painlessly if you have the right mindset and take the right approach. First and foremost, make sure you use a good tuner. If you're still using a pitch pipe, it's time to upgrade. So my go-to is the Peterson Strobo Clip, but there are plenty of good tuners available at a reasonable price. Now, if you view tuning as a nuisance thing that you hate doing and you just wanna get it over with, then that's what it always will be. But if you approach it as a fundamental skill, that you should be proficient at, then each time you tune, it's an opportunity to improve. I tune my 12 string in two stages. I get each note close to pitch, starting with the low string sets and working my way up. Next, I go back and fine tune, starting again from the lowest string set, always tightening the note up to pitch. And now I'm gonna fine tune it. Tip number eight, use the 12 string as a donut. One of the cool byproducts of playing a 12 string is how much easier a six string is to play when you make the switch. It's like taking the weighted donut off a baseball bat before you step up to the plate. You'll find that your accuracy, hand strength, and dexterity are all much improved. Sometimes when I pick up a six string after playing the 12 string for a couple hours, it feels like I'm cheating. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave me a comment. And if you have any tips to add, make sure you share them with the community. Don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description. Most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. The A camera died. So all I've got is this camera.